Hello, this is Paul Goff and welcome to my office here in Orlando. Uh, today we're going to answer a very important question, a common question that many physical therapy business owners have, and that is, how do I market myself as a physical therapist? I've been marketing myself um, and my business for over a decade now. I run a private cash pay business um, in the United Kingdom that is uh, competing daily against a free healthcare system. Um, I managed to scale my private practice uh, to four locations to 20 staff uh, to a very profitable uh, six-figure uh, practice that is um, continuing to run uh, without me. We do not rely upon doctors. Uh, we do not rely upon insurance companies. And uh, to this day, uh, my business, the Paul Goff Physio Rooms, uh, does not even uh, rely upon me. Uh, I speak to you from Orlando. Um, I run multiple businesses now. Uh, and one of those is um, helping other physical therapists like you to be able to market your practice. Um, so to think about your business, uh, and marketing and becoming uh, successful. It is the bedrock of your business. Uh, you've got to start to uh, think about marketing and ultimately how you're going to attract more customers. Um, but one of the things that you've got to shift away from is actually thinking about marketing yourself as a physical therapist. Um, bear with me as I explain. There is a paradox here. Um, a lot of people set out when they build or start their physical therapy practice in thinking that they're because they're a physical therapist, that they have to market as a physical therapist. Um, and that strictly isn't true. In fact, uh, if you wanna be unsuccessful with marketing, uh, then market yourself as a physical therapist. Uh, now, much of what I'm about to teach you actually comes from uh, my book. It's called The New Patient Accelerator Method. It is a book that I wrote for uh, you and uh, thousands of physical therapists all over the world, which teaches you how to market your practice. I'm gonna give you a little insight into it um, today. The idea is that if you market yourself as a physical therapist, then you are one of many, okay? Many people are setting up against you right now. Many people are already marketing their practice um, uh, that you're gonna to have to compete with. And to separate yourself, what we need to do is move you away from being a physical therapist to something better than a physical therapist, and that is a specialist. Your competition are marketing themselves right now is a physical therapist. I'm gonna encourage you to market yourself as a specialist. 99% of people with problems that you can solve are not today actively looking for a physical therapist. They are looking for somebody who is specialist in their problems. So what does that mean? It means that if you uh, looked on the internet today, or if you were a typical person with back pain today, you would not, in all probability, search for a physical therapist. What you would search for is somebody who can help you with back pain. You would help, uh, you would search for somebody that could provide answers to questions about your back pain, your knee pain, your pelvic floor pain, the reason that you can't go to the gym. You would be looking for a specialist. And I think, and I've watched and made the mistake myself, that the biggest mistake when it comes to marketing yourself is thinking that you have to market yourself as a physical therapist. In the beginning, to get traction, to get success, you have to market yourself to a specific pocket of people, promise them that you can solve a specific problem that they've got. Now that could be back pain for a guy or a girl age 55. So when it comes to running Facebook ads, Facebook would allow you to go to their platform and run an ad talking specifically to, if you are wanting to target females, for example, which I do at my practice, I target 55 year old females. And I can go to Facebook and I can run an ad that talks to a 55 year old lady. And I show her an ad that says, have you got back pain? If you've got back pain and you've suffered for three months or more, I'm a guy who can help you. And because the message is specific to her, in that lady's eyes, she views me as a specialist. Now. Another physiotherapy clinic could come along and market their physiotherapy services, great. But the majority of people with back pain, they're looking for somebody who in their eyes is a specialist. So the answer to um, how do I market myself as a physical therapist actually starts with you stopping thinking like a physical therapist. And it's one of the very first things that you have to do now that you've started a business. You have to stop thinking like a physical therapist and start thinking like a marketer of your business. 
start thinking about who your perfect patient is, there are three things that you're gonna to need to have to understand. One, who your perfect patient is. The most important decision in any business's life is in deciding who is the perfect patient because that affects the second most important thing, what's called the customer lifetime value. If, for example, you choose a patient that um, only wants a quick fix, that wants two or three sessions with you to get them from pain, then your customer lifetime value will be, for example, maybe two or three hundred dollars. But if I choose a 55 year old lady and she has a problem called chronic low back pain and she wants to come and visit me 10 or 12 times to fix that problem so that she can be more independent, so that she can walk further, so that she can be active and healthy with her friends and family, then she's going to spend more money with me. And because of that, her lifetime value could be in the thousands. So if you choose a patient, the who, if you choose a patient who only spends a few hundred dollars with you, and I choose a patient who spends $2,000 with me, then you're gonna need a hell of a lot more patience. You're gonna work a hell of a lot harder than I am to attract a customer that ultimately allows me to run a profitable business. And those are two things that you must think about when it comes to the question of how do I market myself as a physical therapist? It is number one, stop thinking of yourself as a physical therapist and start thinking more of a specialist provider of solutions. And then number two, think about who it is that you wanna help because the customer lifetime value ultimately will dictate all of the problems that you get or dodge as you look to grow your business. As I look around, if you're just starting your practice today, if I could tell myself one thing, if I could go back to when I was 26 years old, starting my practice 13 years ago, I would tell myself those two things. Get very clear on who your perfect patient is because ultimately you will get significantly more profitability in your practice if you get clear on somebody and attract somebody that you want to work with, that wants to work with you over the long haul than somebody who, for example, might just want a few uh, treatments for a sports injury that they picked up at the weekend. And getting clear on what the problems are that those people have is the next step. So once you've got clear on the idea that actually to market yourself as a physical therapist, you have to stop thinking like a physical therapist. Then you have to consider who it is that you wanna target. Is it a guy? Is it a female? Is it a, a CrossFit athlete? Is it a female with pelvic floor problems? Is it a lady in her 60s who's got independence or mobility problems? Then we think about the customer lifetime value because that allows you to actually grow the business. You will get more revenue, you'll have more profitability, you will rec uh, recruit better staff because of that. You will be able to afford a better premises. Crucially, you'll have more money for investing in marketing. And because of that, it means you will be able to go to the market, things like Facebook and Google and newspapers, leaflets, social media, YouTube, you name it. You'll be able to go to these different methods to be able to get your message to that person that you identified as having a problem that you wanna be able to help. So the message is the next component that you have to think about. Because we're not a physical therapist anymore, we're not thinking like a physical therapist, and we're starting to think like a specialist, what we can say now is, ultimately, I know that my perfect patient, age 55, has a problem called chronic low back pain. And her real issue is that the doctor doesn't know how to fix it. And she's tried taking pills, she's tried exercises, she's been on YouTube, she's been to a Pilates class, but nothing changed. Her back pain persists. So my marketing message might be, are you age 55 and are you struggling to shake off the back pain that you've had for months that is now starting to get in the way of you being able to enjoy life? Because somebody age 55 and 60, they're starting to really appreciate days. They're, they're wanting to live their life. They're wanting to enjoy life. Somebody in their 20s and 30s is very active, very busy. They've got many things going on. That maybe isn't the same marketing message to somebody aged 25 or 30 as it needs to be for somebody aged 55 to 60. So if I understand who my perfect patient is and I've chose the right person who's likely to have a higher lifetime value, then ultimately I can craft my message. And with that message, then I can go to something like Facebook or Google or newspapers, or send postcards, or mailers, or emails, or do social media. My Facebook Live videos take on a completely different direction when I know who my person is, I position myself 
as a specialist, I've considered the customer lifetime value because ultimately that's one of the most important things in my business that very few business owners in any industry ever think about. And because of that, I'm significantly more likely to be able to write a message that is clearly able to resonate and connect uh, with my perfect patient. And that's ultimately the, the, the very um, you know, highest level view, the foundational uh, level, if you like, of um, what it takes to ultimately market yourself as a physical uh, therapist. The mistake that people make is they go straight to social media and they start talking about exercises for back pain. Well, great, but we haven't considered the steps before it, which is who the perfect patient is and whether or not that perfect patient is going to provide you, I assume, um, a business owner um, with a business that actually is worthwhile having. Um, because I don't know if you've noticed, but there are many business owners, in fact, the majority uh, of business owners, uh, they have businesses, um, but they're not running them. The business is running them. They come out of uh, PT school uh, with zero business skills and they're thinking that ultimately if I become the best practitioner, then I'll have the best uh, practice. Very rarely is that the case. And I'm sure if you've been in business for any length of time right now, um, you will be able to resonate me with uh, when I say uh, the business skills are very different from the clinical skills. And marketing is the first nut that you absolutely have uh, to crack. So if you want some more information, um, I wrote a book on ultimately everything that I learned about scaling my practice um, to where it is today. It continues to grow and run without me. Um, I am a business owner, uh, first and foremost, Paul Goff Physio Rooms is my business. It is one of the most successful private cash pay businesses anywhere in the world. And if you're looking for um, more help on ways to market your uh, practice, and now, as you know, market yourself as a specialist, uh, and consider the customer lifetime value, which is gonna make being in business a lot more enjoyable, a lot more pleasurable, um, and check out my book. It's called The New Patient Accelerator Method. It's available on Amazon, or you can get it from me at paulgoffbooks.com. So there you go. Hopefully uh, you've got something from that. Subscribe to the channel. We have a podcast. Uh, head over to the Paul Goff Audio Experience, uh, Business Lessons for Physical Therapists. You can get it uh, everywhere that good podcasts are available. Hundreds and uh, hundreds of videos on YouTube uh, if you're just finding me for the first time. Uh, it's great to have you. Um, hopefully we're going to get to know each other very well. Uh, there is a lot, of, uh, a lot of lessons I can share with you, a lot of uh, mistakes that I've made as a business owner. Uh, and I am very happy to share them with you um, through all of all of my books, whether it's on selling, whether it's on marketing, whether it's on hiring, whether it's on leadership, uh, I've got things uh, to help you. So um, I look forward to uh, getting to know you more and working with you uh, closely in the future. Thanks for watching this video. And if you found it helpful, and if you now find yourself thinking, I wonder what else this person can help me with, head over to paulgoff.com forward slash books where you can find my best selling books which will show you how to add more profit to your practice or send an email to paul at paulgoff.com to ask about how we can help you accelerate the growth and profitability of your clinic and by the way if you know anybody who would find this helpful please share this video out thanks so much